Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it is. Welcome to today's lab. For today's lab, you're going to do an activity on population biology. So go ahead and open up the template if you haven't done so, and then you're going to follow this link to the virtual lab. And here it is. Uh, you're going to read the purpose and objectives and then follow the procedures. Um, first thing you have to do is make a hypothesis about how you think the two species of paramecium will grow alone and how they will grow when they are grown together. So back to the lab, your paramecium are these single-celled organisms and you're going to be working with two different species, paramecia caudatum and paramecium aurelia and you're going to grow them alone in test tubes one and two and then you're going to grow them together in test tube number three and then you are going to count the number of each species of paramecium are still alive or are uh, are in each sample um, over a period of 20 days okay um, all this information is in the procedure here you can uh, read it uh, follow the instructions I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick uh, I'll do the first uh, day couple of days with you okay so uh, what it says to do is to take a sample from here so you click once on the plunger and then you drag it over and then you squirt it in there and then you're going to do the that that's the one that goes in the first one and then the Aurelia goes in the second one and then the third one gets both like so right and then you'll see that there's tiny little grains of rice at the bottom here um, the uh, there's bacteria in here that eat the rice and then the paramecium will eat the bacteria so that's providing their food and so the purpose of the lab is to measure population growth right that's what um, this topic this week has all been about is uh, how do populations grow and what causes them to stop growing and so one of those things is competition right and so that's what you're going to model in this lab you're going to grow each population without competition right and so in your hypothesis write down how you think those populations are going to grow are they going to grow exponentially without stopping or are they going to die off after a certain period and why um, and then in the uh, third one you're growing them together and so there is competition and then for that one right in your hypothesis box here how do you think that's going to what's going to happen are they going to grow uncontrollably or are they going to level off is it going to be as high is their population going to get as big as they would in their individuals um, that's uh, that's a hypothesis right make a hypothesis of what you think uh, we're going to we're going to see in the data okay so after you make that hypothesis you're then going to record your data in this data table here um, and in each one right you're recording the number of cells per milliliter for each species grown alone right that's test tube one test tube two and then grown together so these are both test tube three one is the paramecium aurelia and the other one is the paramecium caudatum okay so I'll do I'll do the first day uh, first couple of days with you and then you can finish the rest on your own so here's how it goes once you're ready you're gonna click on the back here and the microscope and then you got to set up some uh, microscope slides so you click on the box to get clean microscope slides and then you're gonna take samples you're gonna click on here right and it put the samples on there so this is test tube 1 test tube 2 and test tube 3 and so now you grab the slide, put it on the microscope, and here's what you see. So on day zero, we have one paramecium caudatum. So I'm going to go over here, right? This is day zero, one paramecium caudatum 
in test tube one, and then I go over here. Now I take this one, right? This is test tube number two, right? So it tells me right here, test tube number two. On day zero, I have uh, one paramecium aurelia. Okay, and now test tube three, right? I have one of each. Okay, so I'll go over here. One, one. Okay, and now to get to the second day, I just click on the clipboard here. Oh, hold on. Uh, clear slides. Clear slides. And now I click here. Day two. Same thing. Clean microscope slides. Take the samples. And bang. Oh, and now I see on uh, in uh, test tube one, on day two, I have one, two, three, four paramecium caudatum, right? Four. I have ooh, one, two, three, four, five paramecium aurelia. Oh, hold on a second. These are switched around. I'd be careful of that. I may have to go in and fix that. Day three. All right, now we got to look carefully. I got one, two, three, four, five caudatum. And I have one, two, three aurelia. All right, so make sure you're reading carefully. Uh, which species you have and if I did mess it up, I'll fix it. Let me see what's on slide one again Caudatum is on slide one So slide one yes specimen one that should be caudatum. So I will fix that you guys so you don't have to worry about it. It's fixed um, So we got to switch those back right and Aurelia is in test tube two. Is that right? Yeah, Aurelia is in test tube two all right, so you guys don't have to worry about that. It's fixed, All right? So this is test tube one. Maybe I'll put that in here, All right? Test tube one. And here, oh, wrong place, All right? Test tube two. And then these are both test tube three. That should help uh, eliminate confusion. All right, but like I said, by the time you guys are doing this, it uh, I'll, the template will have been uh, changed. All right, so there we go. And so then you go back, right? Clear the slides. Day four, and then same thing. Clean microscope slides. Take samples. Go under the microscope and count how many of each. And then record it here. Okay, and go ahead and do that for the full 16 days. And then um, you need to graph, uh, make a graph a chart of your data. And uh, there's a little video clip you can click on once you get there to see how to do that. Okay, but for now, go ahead and collect your data and I'll see you in a few minutes.